Hey love folks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, uh, family, I'm sorry. Uh, just thank you for the validations, just to know that you resonate with the videos and they have been helping you uh, look at things in a different perspective is also helping you heal as well, which I'm truly blessed and y'all, y'all humble the heck out of me for that y'all keep on sending these daggone comments to make me cry and i just because i haven't um there's probably some some comments y'all put out well there are some comments that i haven't got back to yet because y'all had me crying through you know just reading y'all's comments because they really mean a lot to me so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while i have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also um if you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes or good information, you would love to share it with a loved one or a friend or a fellow uh, empath, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for the love and support that you're giving me. It really humbles my heart and makes me feel like I'm truly blessed. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Y'all had to change my music two times because it had that little ping noise in it. Oh gosh, there it goes the... the the energy is flowing through the video, so if you feel that, you know, hey, I'm giving that out to y'all, but, you know, the lights keep flicking, like, up and down towards my videos. But this vid uh, this meditation song is music for quantum healing, healing on all different levels, and I will post that link in the description box below. Yeah, I didn't want to hurt y'all little sensitive ears, because, I, you know, y'all been telling me certain songs that I used to use in the past will, you know, mess you up, because it depends on what, you know, device you're listening to it on, because it doesn't sound that str strong over on my way, but, you know, when it emulates something towards the, the computer or bounces off the computer microphone, you know, it can you know, get kind of irritating. So, you know, I, I say I work on that. Try to make sure that, you know, I love putting music on in the background because when I first started, y'all, when I used to do videos, you'll hear this growling or whatever. I don't know where the heck that was coming from because I'm not coming from a dark place. But <laughs> I don't know if there was just some things around me just didn't want me speaking, you know, speak, speaking light and happiness and positivity. So that mess was getting upset. So I'll, that's why I always put music in the background. And plus, it's just like if you're speaking something positive, I want you to be able to feel that energy and love that, you know, it's coming from a good place as well. But uh, my video today is Twin Flame 101, Hey Okas, on a journey to self-discovery. There's a lot of new people that are coming towards my way, you know, we're, you know, it's, it's just going through self-discovery. It can, it can be a lifetime roller coaster because it's just like, you know, you can ask somebody, do you really know who you are? And some people will take offense to that, like, hold up, I know me. Nobody don't know me better than I know me. No, actually, the universe knows you better than you know you because there's half of the time you've been walking around blind and truth for the longest. And it just takes something to really mess your, your you know, throw a monkey wrench in your program. You know, either you could be going through a life or death situation. You could be going through a really bad illness. Somebody close to you has passed away. Um, you, you could be going through a divorce, you could be going through homelessness, it's something that had to be thrown at you, you know, really thrown at you in the most craziest way for you to find out about yourself, I thought I knew myself as well, you know, I always used to walk around, used to ask my mom, mom, I always thought I was a twin, I always used to tell my mom that all the time, I mean, I know y'all probably heard me talk about that in videos, but I really knew, I, I used to swear up and down, I used to get mad at my mom and be crying for my thing, I said, I don't know what my thing is, but I want my thing, she would be handing me everything, and it would not be that, and then when I, when I talked to my father on the phone, I'm like, this is my thing, this is the thing I was looking for, this is my thing, and, you know, it would just be amazing, but it's just like sometimes we have to seek that solitude. We have to be on our own. You know, when you're going through different things, going through a spiritual awakening, you start losing friends. You, you can't work at normal jobs. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and post that on this picture. I found one on Facebook, and it had me busting out laughing, talking about, oh, you went through a spiritual awakening, huh? You can't work a normal job anymore. You done lost friends left and right, and your family thinks you're nuts. <laughs> So it's a, 
<laughs> welcome to that life you know so it is because your family could be thinking you're crazy like you know my my youngest daughter and my oldest daughter well we're all empaths but it's like my middle child the one that i bump heads with they always call my mini me the one i've been supporting on this uh website you know she she's passed over um her her donations for her getting her book so i'm so blessed for her and i'm so happy for her she got over the amount that she was thinking she was going to get so that was a true blessing within itself you know she went through so much hard times you know we all went through ups and downs and situations to where you know we didn't get along it, it was like we were too much alike so she had to go stay with her father in a different state not you know and i was here but i will always miss my child but it was like she had to go through that that you know she had to go through her spiritual awakening for her getting buddha out of here you know at 19 for her to be able to move in with her dad and it was just like when now she can see what was going on and i told her i love you to death but there's sometimes you have to go through really rough roads for you to see what your full potential is and that was true this was before i even knew what i was at the time because this happened like about four years ago four or five years ago and it's like now me and her are in the best place and she's like mom i'm so happy this has happened to me because if i didn't i wouldn't have found me and so you know i always tell my baby i'm so proud of her you know i'm proud of all my children but it was like she has went through so much hardcore things that i never thought i was like you know i thought this was gonna be the one that's gonna fall you know really bad but it was just the point she had fell to rock bottom and she has came back up shining bright like like nothing about tomorrow you know and it was just a blessing to be able to do that so it's just like sometimes we need to be in that alone time you know you need to cut yourself off from society to find out where is your true placement in life where are you going through you know when you are in dark times and don't know how to find yourself out of that dark time you know sometimes we feel stagnant we feel blocked and we feel stuck but this is all an illusion to our mind because it's just the fact is yeah you might not be where you want to be but if you work hard at it and I tell my daughters this all the time when you work hard for it in the universe and God sees that you're doing your part and you keep being grateful for all the little things that he puts in your life you never know what the heck might be you know tomorrow might bring and it's just like with me I had to go through so many bad hardships you know having people come at me uh, in all worst type of ways you know um, some people in my dad's circle you know that knew about me was very threatened by me and you know they would send people to come out and hurt me which was a very hurtful thing but that showed a lot about their character and less about mine because I didn't even entertain it you know with the certain things that went on and it was just like it was a messed up situation but it, it was just like that allowed me to figure out who I was and to let you know that you know people will be threatened by you at times people will you know throw dirt on you or shade on you especially if they feel you are as a threat or any kind of competition you know but when you're going through certain things you know you might lose friends you might lose a lot of friends you know people will say that you have changed yes you have changed because you're awake there's a lot of people that will say that when they're still sleeping so it's just like when that bell gets you know that bell gets ripped off of you you'll be amazed how people start looking at you thinking oh my god is my friend lost her mind or you know my, my family just say mom i'm so worried about you and i'm like for what because i'm seeing things for what they truly are i don't feel sorry for me i'm gonna be okay you need to be feeling sorry for yourself because you ain't woke up yet you know and it just and you really have to be able to see it that way and it, it's like you will go through so much turmoil when you're going through self-discovery you will find out things that will drop you know that will you know amaze you that will you know surprise you they will probably hurt you in the same time because especially if you didn't know certain about certain things or you knew certain things wasn't right about you especially if you you know you had to talk about it with your parents or love people close to you and it will be that way but you have to go through this journey of self-discovery like there you know i have soul brothers and sisters that you know i can lead them towards that life but i have to be able to meet them at the end of the tunnel you know i would love to go with them and hold their hand with this situation but i can't do it just because you know there are certain things that i can't be on a journey with y'all you know there's a lot of people i do one-on-ones with you know i do help you know spiritual counseling and it's a blessing to be able to do that but it's just like i can hand you that information it's just all up to you about what you're going to do with it because there's a lot of times i can see things in other people 
that they didn't see about themselves. And there are certain gifts about me. I'm like, hey, you know, do you do you know, you know, I'm picking up this on you or I'm picking up that on you. And, you know, it's just a blessing to be able to help people find their way in life or, you know, just knowing, oh, I've been special like this, but I just never knew the name for it. You know, that that can be a sad feeling, because like I told y'all, if you've been with me for a long time, you will hear me say it's a blessing to be able to do this because I didn't have that help. I had to get mine spiritually and metaphysically from my father from the universe to tell me hey you know they would send me certain dreams like i know i knew i was going through another spiritual rebirth or forthcoming some things coming to me because just two nights ago i was dreaming of being in the ocean and the oceans terrified the hell out of me you know because there's like you can't hit you know if you're deep in the ocean in the middle of the ocean you can't hit you can't put your feet on the bottom because it's like 300 feet down so and then i'm seeing buddha his head is just sticking out of the water and i didn't know in bali they actually got that i never knew that but the way i seen him is his face was sticking out but he's he's holding his hand you know one the hand like this and the other hand's like this and i had to really do research about that and they're telling me i was going to really go through a, a spiritual turnaround that was forthcoming of something that i was getting ready to see and that's what i needed to do because there was so many things i was holding on to um hurting myself and didn't realize you know when people tell me Rosalind I'm stuck I feel stagnant it is just because you're blocking yourself on all the things that's coming towards you to let you know how to heck to get yourself out of stagnation get these blocks away from you you have to be able to see the signs and not you know go looking for them because the signs are right there but you just have to be able to see things that you can't touch you have to I mean believe in things that you can't touch that you know is coming your way you know you'll have that feeling that something's coming you know like they when Universe sends me messages saying, telling y'all, hey, there's something brewing. You need to prepare. You're going to be going through some hell, like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Because they need you up front and center. And when you do, you cannot have any kind of hindrance, any kind of anger, any kind of sadness attached to you. For whatever is coming that way, you cannot have none of these things on you. And that's why I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm disciplining myself, like with a hard notice, like Rosalind, look. Like, I'm shaking myself, like, look, what is it going to, I mean, what what is it about this situation that's going to be so bad that you feel like you're not going to be able to get out of it by next week? Is this something that you feel like you got to hold on to for what? What kind of benefits is it going to hold for you, for you to be dealing with all these things that is not, is not, it's not taking you anywhere. It's just taking you lower and lower, deeper and deeper and darker and darker in situations that you're not going to be able to get yourself out of. And when you go through darkness of the soul, and that's pretty much what darkness of the soul is. You're going through so much hell all at once and don't know how to, you know, uh, interpret. That's what the word I was using. Interpret that on how are you going to be able to get through this situation. You have to be able to, you know, take the bull by the horns and know. I'm not going to allow whatever has went through me. And I just seen 13, 13 when I said that. What, I'm not going to allow whatever I went through take control of my life. Because you deserve happiness. It's, I mean, you had to go through all this hell. But it's to bring that bring forth the, the things you truly need to see about yourself. Because there's a lot of us that walks blind in truth. And don't know what the heck our purpose is. And this is that time, 13, 33, when I just said that. Um, when you go through stuff like this, is a reason why you have to go through it. There's a reason why you got to go through that journey of self-discovery because there's a lot of things about yourself you were not aware of. You knew that you were going through and it makes you think you're crazy. And that's a blessing when I can tell people, you are not crazy. You're not the only one going through this. You know, it's just like we got the same, you know, it's like we're going through the same hell, but just the different devils. That's what you got to think about it is. But just knowing th those situations is going to make you stronger than you ever thought you realized. And, you know, it took me a long time to figure that out. And I was still going through this. And I said, you know what? If I want good things to come in my life, I can't be holding on to this daggone negativity because I I'm giving people that hurt me power. And they're not even in my life anymore. And I'm still allowing them to have power over me like that. What the hell? No. <laughs> no. You're not going to. You shouldn't even do it either. Anybody who puts you through anything knowing that, I mean, if they're not, you're not talking to them anymore. They're not in your life. Or even if they are in your life. People that hurt people hurt people because obviously somebody did that to them for them because normal people don't go around doing stuff like that. Normal people don't. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be able to forgive them for your benefit, for your peace of mind. 
for you to be able to go to sleep and just get give, give thanks to the universe and God, whoever you worship. You know, let them know, thank you for emptying out my heart for me to be able to sleep well, knowing blessings are coming my way. But I just had to let go of this and drop kick that, that trouble down the street and hit, hit, hit rocks. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. This is already 15 minutes long. It's going to take about four or five hours just for it to upload. So I will talk to you all in my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild.